This begonia is Joe Lord. It's a Brad Thompson hybrid. It, he crossed Hannah Sir with Orange Rubra. Large umbels, just beautiful, really nice plant. This one is Sassy's Mate. Large dotted leaves with light pink flowers. This is done by Kettler from Houston in 2000. Sassy's Mate. This plant is Dumbo. This is a really, look at large leaves, very thick leaves. It gets red flowers. It had a red flower on it, but it got knocked off. But this was done by Don and Billy Asmussen in Corpus Christi, Texas. Brad Thompson used that a lot in hybridizing. This is a Philippine species, Mindorensis. It's a uh, Kind of just a small begonia, but it's nice to collect the species. This is Gray Nurse, done by Ross Boswell in Australia. Gray Nurse is a, a shark. He named it after a shark. Gray leaves, nice. This plant is a Erythrophylla helix sport that Dennis Weaver gave me. Real interesting leaf, really tight, tight helix. Very nice, I like that one. This plant is Kevin White Cotton. It's, I think it's from Steve's Leaves. Small leaves, but very uh, interesting. It gets like a light pink flower. This is Cinnamon Sabres. One of Brad Thompson's savers from 2003. Has a little bit of an orangey tinge to it. It's not pure pink. This plant is Confederate Pride. It was given to me by Arlene Hoskins. And it's uh, done by uh, Walter Dworkin from New York. Small leafed cane. The one next to it is also Confederate Pride. I have two together because I'm trying to determine if they're both the same. This one has a different growing habit, so we'll see. Confederate Pride. This really nice one is Miss Mary Ann. And Miss Mary Ann is a Brad Thompson hybrid from 2004. Really nice markings on the leaves. Stays kind of small, small plant, but really very attractive. This little one under here is Dangling Cherries, done by Brad Thompson. You can see why it's called Dangling Cherries. Small dark leaves, but red, red blooms. Really cute, cute, stays small. Could be a basket plant. This is Begonia cubensis. This is Begonia cubensis. Cubensis is a species from Cuba, discovered in 1858. Has all has blue leaf, blue tinge to the leaves, and gets these tiny umbels of whitish pink flowers. Really a good one. A lot of people covet this plant. It's not really uh, around that much. The plant behind it is torch. This is begonia this is torch. Hybrid. This is all over the country. Um, I've seen it in many nurseries. Nice dark leaf. The more sun it gets, the darker the leaf gets. I believe torch is from Logies, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. This is Begonia Jenny. Jenny's been around a while. It's from someone named Watchhorn. 1971 hybrid. It's a shrub plant, stays small, fuzzy leaves, really sweet. Nice little plant for a small spot area. It's kind of finished for this year, but it's a nice little plant. Stays small. Sanguinea. This is another species from South America, Sanguinea. Very the leaves thick leaves, very almost, thick, succulent. almost succulent. I saw one yeah, at the uh, nice New Orleans flower. convention and just loved it and was really lucky enough plant. to find one on the plant Got table. Just really New nice. Orleans I like this plant. Convention. 
This is May Queen. This is May Queen. This is an oldie. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's obviously has it was hybridized by in. Eva Kenworthy um, Gray. I'm not sure about the year, but I think it's been around for quite a while. It's a nice plant. Just uh, very um, easy to grow. Gets not too big, medium sized. And this handsome gentleman over here is Red Fred. And I don't, know if, I don't you know, know if you know the story of Red Fred, but when Brad Thompson worked at Highmark Nursery in Carpinteria, he had about one or two hundred Freddies that he was growing for sale. And there was one that was all red. And Mike Flaherty saw it and asked if he could have it. And Brad said he didn't want it, so Mike took it and shared it with everybody. Now it's all over the country. Red Fred. I just love this plant. The more sun it gets, the redder it is. This was a little bit redder earlier, but the sun has been changing, so uh, the leaves are turning a little bit green, but just stunning. Thank you, Mike, for saving this plant. Tiny flowers, but just gorgeous. Love that plant. This plant here is black This plant satin. is another stunner. It's, it's black satin. I'm pretty sure because I have a tag in there from Cartouche and that's what it says. Umbles Huge umbels. When people come into my satin. garden, they just gravitate right toward this plant because it's just a standout with dark, dark leaves and these big umbels of uh, kind of hot pink flowers. I just love this plant. It's a stunner. The tall plant behind it is Vista this Quest. plant is Vista Quest. Is it's a Brad, Brad Thompson, Thompson hybrid, Luxurian's hybrid. hybrid. It gets pretty tall. I've seen it up to six or seven feet. Really an interesting plant. Gets white flowers. Comes back every year. This past year I cut it back pretty hard and it's rewarded me with a lot of new shoots at the bottom. So it's just a kind of an interesting plant. I like it. Starts coming up from the base. Vista Quest. This plant here is Alamo Snow. And this I is Alamo Snow. snow it's a John Howell hybrid from 2001. I guess they call it snow because of the dots, but it's just a, a right, nice, easy plant to grow. Doesn't require a lot of attention, but puts on a nice show. Plant here, everybody might recognize. It's this is Begonia fuchsioides. I'm sure lots of people have seen this plant around. This is a species from Mexico. It's a sweet little plant with tiny flowers. A lovely plant to have in a pretty pot. Next, we have a cartoose hybrid. This is Begonia Palomar Storm. It's a cartoose hybrid. It might have Gertie eye in its parentage, it's parentage, but I'm you can not sure. Leaves. Maybe it I'm doesn't. Sure. But it's really but an interesting plant. White, white flowers, flowers really nice stays plant. low, but it's makes a recent, nice bushy uh, shrub plant. Year, but um, it's really very nice. Makes a, a nice white statement. This is a species this is from West a species Indies, Begonia domingensis it's from the West Indies. It's a nice shrub plant. Also, gets these cute little spray of uh, umbels of white, uh, pinkish white flowers. It's really sweet. It can get up to about four feet tall. I've seen it in a pot be that tall. Nice species. This plant is this Bill, plant Byron. Is Bill Byron. It's a Brad Thompson hybrid, Egregia right times uh, Polensis. I white fly it's, I, spray it and uh, I just had to spray it. That's why a lot of the leaves are gone. It had white fly, and we all know what white fly can do. So I took off a lot of the leaves and gave it a good spray. So hoping it'll, it'll come back probably next year because I'll trim it back. But um, it's, it's a nice plant. The leaves can get huge. This plant this is Sierra is, Gentle uh, Rain. Sierra it's Gentle a Bishop Rain hybrid from was done by 2001. Bishop, She's Sacramento up in the Sacramento area. Usually it blooms in, in, it, the, it early usually spring, blooms in the early spring, but for some reason this year it's blooming now. This is October, so I don't know why, but I like the little blooms. It seems like it's, uh, it is a gentle rain on the plant. Kind of thin leaves. I usually don't go for those, but that's such a pretty this plant. This plant is Caribbean Prince. It's a Tim Anderson hybrid. 
This is Caribbean Prince. It's a Tim Anderson hybrid from Florida. Uh, he was associated with Palm Orchid Estates. Really a nice plant, white flowers, textured leaves. Unfortunately, Tim Anderson passed away this year from COVID, so we lost a begonia giant in him. This is Begonia toliodano. It's a species from Brazil. Large, large leaves, dark, kind of a little bit hairy, felted, and a pinkish white flowers. They're, it's going to bloom. It's got cute buds, too. The buds are a little bit hairy, also. Really cute buds. This is Begonia kellermanii. It's a species from Guatemala. It was discovered in 1809. Can you imagine? 1809, and it's still around. Must be a good plant. It gets white flowers, and it has these lovely uh, peltate leaves. Really pretty. Next to it is Boomer. Boomer gets big leaves. I'm thinking that's why they call it Boomer. This is a Mabel Corwin hybrid from 1987. Mabel Corwin was a begonia giant down in the San Diego area. There's a branch of uh, the American Begonia Society named after her and they still meet. Boomer. White flowers. This is Peltata. This plant is Peltata, and Peltata is a um, species from South America. Used to be called Incana. They changed the name to Peltata for some reason. Very peltate leaves, gets white flowers, thick leaves, and uh, hairy, not hairy, fuzzy. But for some reason, they changed the name to Peltata. They do that every now and then. This is a little plant. Uh, I think it's um, a conitofolia. I'm not sure, but it's it's a it's a nice plant. Probably should be in a basket. I should hang that one. But nice white flowers. Unassuming begonia, but it looks pretty. This is a species called obscura, and obscura is I can't I'm not sure where it's from but it's a really nice little plant it's um oh it's from Brazil that's right it's from Brazil and it just stays low but it always has lots of blooms on it obscura obscura it's kind of a weird name but it's a really nice plant from Brazil